Did you ever have you ever seen the Pat Tillis lights? I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I've never <laughs> I've never seen it, and I'm not. I, yeah, I've heard people have seen it or whatever. I'm also not one to believe in stuff right. like that. So with with I told you I worked with Jake. Right. So our main thing when I was working with him, and still his main thing, is um paranormal ghost or? hunts. Yeah, that's cool though. So I went on a lot of ghost hunts, and there were a lot of creepy moments, but never anything that made me go like. Whoa, that was right. a ghost. Right. It was so a whole it was a whole definitive. lot of like yeah, it was a whole lot of like I don't know what that was. That was fucking creepy. That's but, all I've seen it back tell us is there's yeah. I don't know what it was. It was weird given, but I don't know what it was. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like most of everything we encountered I, I could chalk up. Have you ever mostly. been to Diamond City? Did you ever check that out? No, I never went there. Now with Diamond City, I have seen stuff out there. Like really? without like a what? doubt. Um there's there's a couple stories. I've seen the swinging light. The swinging light. Swinging light. What's the apparently, swinging light? Apparently, there's a story about a a uh, train conductor or a circus or whatever coming. Out. I, you know, these are all here. Was he was he looking for something with uh, a lantern? For, uh, yeah. And then he got hit by a train. Something like that, or the train overturned, or uh, the, one of the stories is the train overturned for a circus, and one of his Black Panthers got out, and he was looking for it, and he they never saw him again, and all, he's going up and down the river. You know, just, that's what that's what I heard. Hearsay, hearsay. I heard something about that. I, th- I thought that's what the pack told his light was. There's the red demon thing in the chops of the trees that throws sparks at your vehicle um, and cuts all your stuff off, just stuff like that. Huh. Um, I've had situations like that where we've, we've been out there, and uh, everything just goes dead. Phones die. Phone dies. Everybody's phone stuff dies. Really? There's, I mean, this is... Now this is my my experience. experience. You can call me full of shit if you want. But no, this is what's I mean, happened. This right. is things that have happened to me out there. You know, in the middle of nowhere because it's a grid. It's you know that's yeah. what it is. It's a huge grid and it's just nothing but like that. Like the down downtown area uh-huh. of Greenville, uh-huh. like how the streets are. And where's where's like. this at? Uh, it's Diamond City, um, North Carolina. Yeah, is it it's in okay. between Janesville and Washington. Okay, um, it's humongous. So and, it's not that far. No, not really. It's uh, maybe about. From here, maybe forty five minutes yeah. ish, you know, give yeah. or take. But uh, never uh, heard of it. Um, everything in the vehicle, the vehicle died. It wouldn't cut on. All our phones dead. No, nothing. Only thing we can get to work is like a flashlight for about how convenient. Ha- yeah, for like half an hour, or we get out, walk around, and check everything out. By the time you know everybody is start almost starting to freak out, everybody's stuff starts working again. Huh? It's it was. Really bizarre. That's weird. It is really weird. That is weird. And I would, I would, it, I would be riding around after that looking for a, like a transformer or something, like a I, I, something that might have caused everything to die. There's nothing because that's there, me. The only thing out there is a an old building that used to be a hunting club stuff. You know. Yeah. But so bizarre. Yeah. So bizarre. And that's it was. It what's weirder is it'd be different if it was like just my phone and just yeah. or just the vehicle. But it's it was like five of us. We we had something we had something happen that was like it was the probably the scariest moment and it's gonna sound like I'm bullshitting um when I say this. It was only the scariest moment because everyone freaked out. That's it's what so long I gotta fucking fix it. <laughs> like yeah, mine's getting there. I gotta get mine I gotta fix my shit. Um, do that. It keeps I'm starting weird. to look I'm starting to look a little disheveled. Oh man, I look homeless. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm just, I've been letting my, my hair and my, my beard just grow and yeah. like do whatever. Yeah. Cause my, I, I got, I got pure, my old, old rings. I, I have, I ran them through the autoclave and I, uh, I've got like little rings in my hair where I, like, uh-huh. I got a couple of dreads. So like okay. in my dreads, I've put in cat beads in it. So it's like, I don't know. I think it's cool. Yeah. Some people think it's stupid. Probably. I think it's cool. What are you yeah. Like, uh, what was I saying before something? That dread right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just little rings up there, like right there. You just get them to where they stay in there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I just, well, it's dreaded, so I just they just they just kind of get worked in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or are you saying you put them through the dread? Yeah, I put them through the dread. Gotcha. And okay, it just kind of the bead just it's so tight that it just stays in there. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. I think it's cool, but anyhow, yeah. just a little yeah, continue. Um, what was I saying before? Uh, said we just got off of Diamond City. And, oh, our scariest thing. Yeah. It was um. So we were at uh, Weston. Western State Penitentiary, I think. Where's that? Uh, I think it's in Western Weston, West Virginia. I think, I think I have to look it up. Um, let me see if I can look that up real quick. Yeah. So like that shit was like for real. Like, wow. it scared the shit out of us. I imagine. Like, because yeah. we were we were talking about this That's this awesome. room, like it was like super scary. And trying to get Shelby to go in there, and we're like, we're not worried about it, you right? Because we've been in there, we hung out in there, whatever. And then she's like not wanting to go in there. 
and then that happened, and we just all took off running. Like, I mean, it was pretty. It was pretty freaky. It was pretty so, freaky. So yeah. I still, do, I, I'm still gonna say it might have been a bird running into the fucking building. That's very possible. My mom to this day. So my grandma lived in. There's a place in Williamson called Doodle Hill. I know it sounds crazy, but that's there, cool. There is. Yeah, uh, my grandma used to live there, and there the house that she lived in was super old. And uh, my mom, when she was living there, she she swears by the story. She's told it to me the same way for years. Mm-hmm. Like you know, people get older and their cho- story changes. Mm-hmm. It's never changed. Yeah. Um, she's told it to me like a hundred times. It's always been the same. So I feel like it's credible. She said that. Uh, my grandfather, I never met my grandfather. He died mm-hmm. before I was born. Mm-hmm. And um, she was laying in there one night, and she was she was laying down, and she had her eyes closed, but she wasn't asleep. And she felt something at the edge of the bed, like somebody had sat on the edge of the bed. And mm-hmm. she opened her eyes, and it was her, her dad, sat down on the edge of the bed, reached over, and pushed the cover over her shoulder, got up, and walked out the door. And, nah, I'm good. Yeah, she, that's what... She's told me that story for forever, and I'm just, you know as a kid hearing it, you're like, Whoa. yeah. And I've, I've slept in that room, and yeah, it just freaks me out. But yeah. I believe in stuff like that. I believe in crazier stuff than that. So we stayed in the Conjuring house. And, really, yeah. that's so awesome. Yeah. And that was how did you how did you manage that? That's cool. Well, first off, it's Jake. Yeah, so well, he has know, a resource. It's a little little easier. Yeah, um, but you can just book it. Really? Yeah, you can book it. Like you can go, you can, you can, they have a website. I don't, they might have sold it by now, but the guy who owned it at the time, like they just booked it for ghost hunters. They booked it for people who just wanted to come and stay in the house. Me and my wife come and that. That's there. a cool date idea to me. Yeah. You can go watch, <laughs> like a lot of people watch The Conjuring at that house. Wow. Yeah, it's a cool old house. Like it's so old. Isn't that kind of, I feel like that's kind of like talking shit. <clears throat> it's like up in, up in New England. What, talking shit about the house? Like, like, no, like, no, like if you're in the house watching The Conjuring, that's kind of like talking oh, shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of like you're just, you're being real brazen. Like, right. Real, real, uh, real brave here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it's a really cool old like New England house. So it's 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 like as old as the country. Like it's a right. like this wood. You look at it's some just, of the wood. It's just old old country. It's, yeah, it's just yeah. old. But what what I mean is like you ever go to those you ever go on a field trip where like you, you know, there there's one specific thing I'm thinking. Did you ever of. go to Fort Branch as a kid? Out, I don't know. Out near uh, Robertsville? I don't I don't know about that. I just yeah. know that I'm t- there's this field trip I went on where like they were showing us how people lived like that's that's you know, what I'm getting. Years at. That's and years, what it and years is. ago, oh, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's like that. It's like like a shack house, right? You know, kind huh. of thing. It, yeah. Um. That's anyway, cool though. Cool old house. Yeah, I'd, I'd check it out if if you still can. Um, but yeah. Uh, but even through all that, I never, never had an experience that made me go definitively. Mm, that, mm, yeah. I mean, honestly, I didn't really ever have anything that made me go. Maybe. But that's fair. That's that's fair because that that means if one day if something does happen, oh, then yeah. you know you're gonna. It's I'll be really like, gonna be. It's really gonna be something. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're somebody that takes a lot, you know, I'm gonna yeah. need something like a full body thing. Yeah. Sorry. Well, Ooh. rest of the store. If you Not ever, breathing, if right? you ever come up and you're like, yeah, this is what happened. It's some real shit. Yeah. yeah. But that's that's cool, man. I I love stuff like that. Anything paranormal. Um... Hey there. Hope you enjoyed that clip. You can find more clips like this and full video episodes of the Small Stuff Podcast on our YouTube channel. You can also listen to full episodes of the Small Stuff Podcast in audio form wherever it is you get your podcasts. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Audible, all the places. Also, follow us on social media. We're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. All the links are in the description. Have a nice day.